Today I'm going over five benefits of getting a massage every single month and why you should be doing this for your body. Hey guys, it's Samantha here with The Daily Fit Girl and welcome to Q&A Tuesday where you ask the questions and I answer them to the best of my ability. And today's question, it's not really been a question, but it's something that I want to address to you guys because it is super important for your health, for your overall wellness, and definitely for your body. And that is the importance of getting a massage on a regular basis. And today I'm going to give you five benefits of getting a massage on a regular basis. And this topic is stemming from actually me today. And the past couple days I had the worst kink in my neck. Like yesterday it was bad and I actually called to schedule a massage and they didn't have anything open because that's typical LA. You really can't schedule anything last minute because everything's booked up. And then I was like, okay, so today I was like, maybe I, I could sleep it out. You know, today I woke up, my neck was even worse. And I was like, to the point where I couldn't even move my head past like right here. And I was like, I need to go because I am leaving for Vegas tonight to work a show for the rest of the week. And I'm like, I cannot be in this pain all day. It was miserable. I even tried going to the gym this morning to try and like work out and stretch and everything. I got on the Stairmaster for 15 minutes and I'm like, nope. I'm done and I just went and sat in the sauna for 20 minutes and just like kind of just like stretch my whole entire body and then I just went home and on my way home I just called and scheduled a massage because I'm like I cannot be in this pain anymore. I think your neck is like neck or back is like the worst thing you can have injured because it's just it affects everything and it affects my mood too like every time I'm like ah pain it was terrible anyways I went and got a massage at three o'clock that's another thing I hate getting massages during the daytime. I like to schedule them at night because then I get to just come home, take a shower and go right to bed and be in that Zen mode. But this was more of like a medical massage basically. So got in at three cause it's now five and I have a flight at eight. So I just had to get it in my schedule. And I am so grateful for myself for doing that today because she did a full body massage on me which is definitely what I needed. But then like the last 20 minutes, she focused on just my neck. And oh my gosh, I have never heard or felt such ginormous knots in my neck. I've, I don't think I've ever had this issue, but it was just like, she would just go down like this and massage it. And it didn't hurt while she was doing this, but it was just like, just like, you know, when you hit a uh, knot and it just like pops and like, it was like, terrible and after fact she was like that was a huge knot it's so good that you came in to like get that massaged out because that probably would have just sat there with you for you know who knows how long like over a week easily so she did a miracle job like it's still sore obviously right now but I'm hoping you know going to sleep tonight and waking up tomorrow it's going to be better and she also hooked it up with some biofreeze on my neck afterwards after we were done so I'm like heaven I need to go get some of that because I don't even know how being an athlete I don't have biofreeze at my house I just I guess I just like to live in pain <laughs> but anyways I do have a membership to massage envy and I have one because I need to force myself to get a massage every single month the past couple months I haven't gone um, my schedule's just been crazy and it's just really super hard to schedule a massage into my schedule sometimes because I do have to book it in advance because last minute things are always booked up. Um, but I do have a membership because it forces me to use it. And I'm also the type of person that has a really, really hard time with pampering themselves. And I feel like a massage is just that. Now, past couple years, I looked at it more like this is a health reason, like it's like going to the gym, like it's eating healthy, you know, take care of your body, get a massage. So I've gotten kind of used to like, this is what I need to do for my body. But before, I just had a really hard time with taking that time to go get a massage. It's like, it's not that I didn't deserve it. I just have a hard time with pampering. Like even when it comes to like getting my nails done or a facial or stuff like that, I'm just always like, ah, no, like... I, unless someone gifts me with this, I have a hard time going out of my way to do that myself. And I've always been that way. I just, I don't know why. It's not that I don't think I don't deserve it. I think it's just more like, well, if I have time to do that and spend money on that, I have 
time to work on my business or my career or something like that. It's super strange. I know. I don't, if, if you're like that too, let me know. So I'm not like the only like weird one that doesn't like to pamper themselves, especially being female. Like that's a really weird statement to say, um, but that's just kind of how I've been. But so that's what I do. Get a monthly massage at least. And I'm just going to jump into the five benefits and reasons why you should as well invest in getting a massage either monthly or maybe twice a month, whatever, you know, you can afford or take the time to do. And this is why. Benefit number one, and that is pain reduction. So when we're working out, lifting weights, running, doing yoga, Pilates, whatever it is, usually the day after, maybe a couple days after, you're going to feel the effects of that workout. It's your muscles, you're breaking them down, your body has to regenerate and build them back up and recover and everything like that. So if you go and get a massage, it's really going to help boost that circulation to that area and help your body to recover and repair those muscles so you begin to live pain-free. Which leads into benefit number two, and that is increased blood flow and circulation. So when you get a massage, it's gonna really help open up your blood flow to all areas of your body. So that is not only gonna help you breathe better, but it's also gonna help you lift smoother, perform better, because you just have that blood flow just flowing through your body. And we get caught up in lifting and you get hurt or injured or you have muscle damage. Muscle damage meaning from lifting or working out, you're breaking down muscles. So when you get a massage, it's just gonna help open up everything and help the blood flow through. It also helps increase blood flow through your lymphatic system, which is the lymphatic system is what helps remove waste from our bodies. So not only are you going to feel better, you're also gonna have a faster recovery time because you're allowing all this blood flow to flow free, free, freely, freely throughout your body. Benefit number three, and that is flexibility. Believe it or not, massage therapy actually helps with your flexibility. And this is something that I really didn't even think about because, you know, you're just laying there on a table. You're not doing any crazy Pilates or yoga moves or stretching or, you know, that helps you get flexible, right? <laughs> but believe it or not, it does. And why or how, you may ask, and that is as you're getting massage, they're, you're breaking and stretching out the muscle fibers. So that's going to help with flexibility in turn with the blood flow and all that. It's all in conjunction together and that helps you be more flexible, which is awesome when it comes to training and weight training because I don't know about you guys, do you ever feel like if you're just doing a lot of weight training for months and months and months and maybe you're slacking on your stretching? We're all guilty of that. I know I am. You start to feel very tight and I've noticed it in myself like maybe I'm slouching a little more or if I go take that yoga class I'm like oh my gosh I used to be able to do this pose so easily just a few months ago and all of a sudden now I'm like barely being able to make it and that is because when you're weight training when you're breaking down your muscles you're just getting more just like kind of like cramped up so that's why it's so super important to stretch not after not even after you work out but with massage therapy, it's gonna help also break it all down and stretch out your fibers too. Benefit number four, and that is sleep improvement. Yes, we all need that. We live in a crazy world right now where we're getting pulled in a million directions from our phones to computers, to people, to this, to that, to the other. We are always in high demand of something and that stuff affects our sleep especially if you're not taking care of your diet or if you're not working out. And if you are, it's just all other things going on. And with massages, it's going to help you get relaxed. It's going to increase blood flow. It's going to get you a better sleep. So this is also why I mentioned at the beginning of the video that I love to get a massage, you know, at the end of the day, because then I can come home and just shower, jump into bed and pass out. And it's also just going to help get that improvement throughout the week as well. And that's why if you can get massages on a weekly basis or maybe twice a month, it's going to improve it even more. Benefit number five, and that is to decrease tension. Well, that's a no-brainer because that's usually the reason why we go get a massage in the first place, and that's to relax and just learn how to relax too. Like, I don't know, if you haven't been to a massage before, go try it. If you live a really high-stress lifestyle, like you're constantly doing something or don't know how to relax very well or anything like that, your first couple of massages might be a little bit awkward because 
you're just like laying there and you're getting massaged, but your brain's just going and going and going. And over time, you kind of just learn to like, just learn to relax. And then when you learn to relax like that, then you take it to other aspects of your life too, like going to sleep or, you know, if you meditate, it's going to help with that too. So decreasing tension in our lives, I think is very important because it's usually really hard to shut this off if you're living a crazy life. And as much as we take care of our bodies when it comes to working out and eating right, our mind needs to be taken care of as well. And so I think that's why massage is also a very important thing to do, not only for your body, but for your mind and just help it shut off shut down, relax, you know, give it time to just like breathe on its own without worrying about a million different things. So those are the five benefits of going to get a massage. Now I'm going to uh, finish drinking my coconut water. Um, it is very important to hydrate after a massage because your body has just released a ton of toxins into your blood from massaging out the muscles. So it's important to like drink a lot of water to just flush that out, flush that out through our lymphatic system, which I was just talking to you guys about. Ooh, learning things. Uh, so I'm gonna do that. But don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I have a new series out right now, which is just daily vlogging, and I'm actually doing a behind the scenes video for that right now. And leave a comment, like this video, let me know if you have any other questions that you want me to answer in upcoming Q&A Tuesdays. I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bra straps are the worst. You'd think when you had your boobs done, you wouldn't have to wear one, but you do to keep them supported and intact. I'm looking good. <laughs> Why is this hair like everywhere? Ugh, shit.